welcome to Beth Roars, where we look at your favourite singers to find out what makes them them. Before we start, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. My handle is at Beth Roars and this video is an Instagram vote winner. Woo! You can also check out my website, bethroars.com, where you can book a singing lesson from me. And last but not least, please do head over to my Patreon, which is patreon.com slash bethroars, where you can get some more exclusive content, you can get early access to my podcast, and you can find out a little bit more about my scholarship fund for aspiring artists. Now, as I said, this one is an Instagram vote winner by popular vote. Let's listen. Sweet child in time You'll see the line The line that's drawn between The good and the bad See the blind man yeah, He's got a lot of tone, hasn't he? He's got full chord closure, you can hear that in that tone. It's got punch. I love that. Lord. It has that kind of scoopiness. These little nuances, these little scoops and things like that are so important in making people sound like them. Now, you can hear the kind of 70s vibe in this, but you can also hear that kind of almost 80s vibe. They were pioneers of metal, really, of the original kind of 80s metal style. And you can hear that kind of sneaking in there. And you've not been here been hit by flying Flying. Really closing on the consonants. Oh, he's going to do so much. I love the use of consonants on wait for the ricochet. Really using them as percussion there. I love also out there, he's got a big open mouth, really relaxed tongue, relaxed jaw. Look how relaxed he looks in general and he's able to have fun with it because he's not thinking about his technique. He's just doing it. Ooh, interesting vibrato on the falsetto there. So slow. I'm crying for you day and night. Oh my god, this is gonna have an amazing slow build, isn't it? And I'm gonna be like, ah, at the end, I know it. Can you hear the difference between the oohs earlier and then now these as? So you had that falsetto sound, that light breathy sound, and then here you have head voice, which is full chord closure. It has that kind of more punchy sound to it. This is very him. This is what makes deep purple, deep purple, these high head voice screams. Wow. I love that from the head voice into falsetto as well. Very, very cool. He's using loads of different nuances, different flavors of voice. Now, Deep Purple, along with Black Sabbath and Led Zeppelin, pioneered metal. They were known as the unholy trinity. And aren't they all fantastic bands? Actually, if you can think of any other really awesome early metal bands, pop it in the comments. I'd love to hear them. I love the mix of like 70s and 80s metal. I mean, they started it, but it's a really nice combo for me.
I love how he falls off the notes as well, like, oh. Because it just sounds like wailing, but in the best way possible. It isn't meant to be neat and tidy. It's meant to be like, ah. Oh. So, Ian Gillen was initially influenced by Elvis. Who'd have thought, eh? And he was the original Jesus and Andrew Lloyd Webber's Jesus Christ Superstar. I love the change of tempo. It's really interesting because of modern recording methods, people don't tend to change tempo anymore. It's less fluid. Music is more set to a really strict tempo, but I love how it's speeding up. And actually I was like, oh, we're gonna have like a slow burn. It's gonna have a big build. However, he hit these high notes and then the instrumentation and the speed of the song is now giving it even more of a build that I didn't expect. Great. Real good musicians. It's so easy for them. Wow. Wow. It like puts you on edge, it's so intricate. And you can... Oh. Aha! I was about to say, you can hear the progression in music in the 80s, but then it's just gone back to this kind of 70s organ thing. I love it. You've got long songs back in the day. Sweet child in time his vibrato is so interesting because it's so slow. It has this kind of like lethargic feel, which is perfect for this moment where it's like, oh, he's very good at both having these massive, crazy big notes and then coming back and it feels really like beautiful and intimate. The line that's drawn between and he isn't losing tone when he's quiet either, which is often what people do. They go a bit breathy. See the blind man, yeah, he oh, I love that flippant head voice as well. Let's fly. Uh, early bit of vocal fry there. You've not been here, not been here by flying leg. You better close your eyes. He's so good at using consonants. And what's interesting is that he was originally both a singer and a drummer, and you can hear that in his delivery, in that he's using different rhythmic phrases, and he is using those consonants as 
percussion and he's not allowing it to be too smooth a lot of singers would be like ah, without really any breaks he's doing that really cool i like it Come from his soul, which is nice to see. I love the grit and the distortion he's getting on this. Do you know what this song is about? Anyone? I don't know. And it sounds real sad. That's a little Yoda there. This slow beat. Oh. sat down and listened to Deep Purple properly and I'm so glad I just did. I'm a massive fan of 70s music as well so yeah that was cool. Thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed. If you did please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!